In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to make a Goomba. So I'm going to start by going and adding a sprite. And I'm going to call it Object Goomba. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to show you how I can add, by going Edit with Piscal, a slightly different way is I can open it from a, a strip. Let me just uh, click here where it says Browse Images. And if I click on Browse Images, you'll see I've got Goomba, which is a strip. And if I open it, it's going to say either as a single or as a sprite sheet. So I want to select Sprite Sheet. And then I select the size, which is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. And now I have a Goomba. The first step, uh, what I want to do is I want to click here where it says Swap Colors. And I want to swap the color to Transparent so I can dump transparent color anywhere that is green. And so you'll see I now have uh, transparency around the Goomba. I need to do that for frame two, and then I need to do it for frame three, and then finally I need to do it for frame number four. So I'm going to dump the transparent paint anywhere that was previously green. Okay, now that I've created a Goomba, I'll save it. And I remember to check loop. And I'm also going to change the timing to be about 2.2 uh, .2, uh, seconds, so it's a little bit slower. Okay, I'm going to make two more objects. And this time, I don't, uh, I'm going to draw my own sprite for them. One object is going to be a Goomba wall that's going to tell it to go to the right, and another one is a Goomba wall that tells it to go to the left. So I'm going to click here where it says Sprite, and I'm going to just add my own animation, and I'm just going to quickly draw with Piscal a arrow uh, called Go Right. And I might even change the dimensions to be 16 uh, by 16 and, and hit Resize so it's a smaller uh, frame. And I'm just going to draw an arrow for the go right. Uh, so I'm going to make the arrow uh, kind of look like this. So it's a right pointing arrow. So I'll save that and I'll call the object, object go right. It's going to tell the Goomba to go to the right. And then I'm going to create an object that's going to tell the Goomba to go to the left. And so I'll call it object go to the left. And then I draw my own animation. Okay, um, trying to draw as quick as I can here so I don't waste too much time. So again, uh, this one here is, oops, uh, I need to resize the canvas to be 16 pixels by 16 and hit uh, center and resize. Uh, and then I can draw a arrow going to the left. I'll make it a bit fatter. Uh, there we go. So I'll hit save. So this is object go left. So what the idea is going to be is I'm going to put a Goomba on the screen uh, and then I'll put another Goomba on the screen here. And then I've got my left uh, wall. So when the Goomba hits the left one, it's gonna go left. And let me just zoom in a little here. Makes it easier to place things. So I can place that a little better. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly precise. Uh, but basically, you see the Goomba's just going to hit these things, and this Goomba here is going to uh, hit um, the uh, other one. So I've got a couple of Goombas on here. And what I want to do is I'm going to use a variable that's going to tell it to go left or right. But it's not going to be a global variable. This time, we're going to do a variable based on an object. And the reason is because if you look at it, I've got multiple Goombas. And so if I say uh, variable is right and tell the Goomba to go the direction of the variable, um, all of them will go right. And they're not all going to hit the walls at the same time. So each Goomba has to have its own variable. And that's very common in programming. We call that a local variable. So to create the local variable, I'm going to click where there's three dots here and I'm going to say edit object variables. And currently I have none in the Goomba. So the Goomba was selected and I say edit the object variables. I'm going to add a variable 
and I'm going to call this Goomba underscore direction. And I'm going to set it to the characters capital R I G H T, capital right. Those are the letters uh, that I'm going to do. So let me show you the code now on how I do this. So to do the code, I'm going to click the plus and create a group. And this group is going to be called the Goomba group. And a couple of things I want to do. First thing I want to do is see these arrows. I don't want to see the go right and go left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, at the scene, uh, beginning of the scene, so beginning of the scene, what I want to have happen is I want the go right to be hidden. So I type in hide. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the go left. So I'm going to say uh, at the beginning of the scene, I also want not only go right, but I want go left and I type hide to be hidden. So now we're not going to see the right and left. The next uh, event I want to do is I want to test the Goomba's variable. So I type in Goomba and then I type variable and this time it's a text variable. And the text is the characters capital R I G H T. So the variable here is listed Goomba direction. And I want to see if it's equal to the string, which is the text of the letters R I G H T. And it's important we put it in quotation marks. So if it sees R I G H T in the variable Goomba direction, which is what I originally set it to, what I want to do is I want to add a force to object Goomba. So I say Goomba add a force and I'm going to say the force is 40. I don't have to put anything on Y because I'm just going a force of 40 uh, per second on the X axis. You can change and put any other um, ones that you want. Now I'm going to do the same thing here uh, so I can copy that and paste uh, here. But this time I'm going to say if Goomba direction is not the word right, but the word in quotation marks of left. And what I want to have happen is I want the Goomba to not have 40, but a negative 40 on the left. So here it looks at the variable. And if that Goomba, that specific Goomba has a variable that says uh, object Goomba uh, is right, um, or rather Goomba direction is right, it's going to have 40. And if uh, the object Goomba has a variable called Goomba direction that's left, it's going to have a force of negative 40. Finally, I want a collision. The collision is going to between the Goomba and the uh, collision between the right. So if the Goomba hits the right, I want to add, uh, I want to modify the Goomba's variable. So I go variable. Uh, text of the variable Goomba direction and I'm going to set it to if hit right. So I'm going to set it to be the word right. And then when I hit the left one, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. So if Goomba is in a collision, so I type in collision with the left one, what I want to have happen is I want to change the variable in the Goomba so I type in variable, uh, text variable called Goomba direction. So I want to change Goomba direction to now be set to quote L-E-F-T quote. And the reason I do that is because uh, if it's left, uh, the Goomba then is going to go left. And so now if I hit play, you'll see uh, my Goombas are going to move to the left and then they're going to hit a wall that you don't see and they're going to go to the right. And both Goombas, of course, are doing this uh, relative their, to their own variable. 